yes hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's me gloria chirendo if this is your first time of seeing my face thank you for turning on to my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification button i really really appreciate that in this video i'm just going to be doing this this um sauce i saw it's called um ayama she sauce and that's what i'm going to be doing so i want to take you along you can try it, something different from the tomato sauce so over here are the stuff i'm going to be using i have just green peppers onion and um, i don't want it too hot so i'm going to use just that okay so i'm going to blend it now and i'll get back to you thank you so much yeah so here i'm just going to um blend the um ball peppers and the onions and the peppers together the red um heredu peppers together yeah i had to do a voiceover because my kids were shouting in the background so i had to do so i'm just normally you blend it you don't want it to be too smooth so you, i just did it a little bit um with lumps in it so don't blend it too smooth like the way you blend your tomatoes when you're making your stew if not i don't think it's gonna look good so i hope everyone is fine please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please i promise i'm gonna be bringing a lot of videos your way so i was just tired of eating the normal tomato stews and i'm like let me try something else so that's why i'm trying this ayama so it's actually my first time of cooking it i've tried it before but it's actually my first time of making it at home myself so i just hope you're gonna try it and then just let me know you can tag me on send me a, a message or leave in the comment section about if you enjoyed it but trust me i really really enjoyed having it it was so so tasty and yummy yes so i'm just going ahead to blend the uh, um, the ball peppers together so today is saturday and i'm doing this because tomorrow sunday rice does everyone eat rice on sunday I'm one of those people that must eat rice on Sunday. So these are the this is the the blended stuff. So I'm just going to cook it down. I'm just gonna cook it down to make sure the water dries. You don't want it to be watery. And here I'm gonna um, bleach my oil. So that's um, the pan I'm going to be using. You normally you use palm oil, and you bleach the oil because you don't want the taste, the aftertaste of palm oil in your mouth. If you've eaten palm oil, you know that normally it has an aftertaste, and you don't want it in this sauce. So right now I'm just going to bleach the palm oil. To take off all the the taste of the palm oil till it changes color and it be, this can be very very dangerous please be very very careful when you do this I repeat be very very careful when you do this bleaching oil can be very very dangerous so that's it it took me almost like five to seven minutes to bleach this oil and make sure that everything was off and the oil was a bit clear for me so on the other pan, I was cooking the um, cow leg and shaki. That's the towel I'm going to use to cook the sauce. So here, I'm just keeping an eye on the oil. I didn't put it to a very high heat because I don't want it to um, to heat up on, uh, so fast. So I just took my time in heating the pan up. So yes, I was saying, is everyone like me that has to eat rice on Sunday? If I don't eat rice on Sunday, it's like is another day i grew up eating rice on sunday we used to look forward to eating rice every sunday so till now i still do the same <laughs> i still do the same thing for lunch i must eat rice i'm sorry i can't eat something else for lunch on sunday so yeah you can see the palm oil is bleaching nicely you can see the smoke is beginning to smoke so at this stage you don't want to we don't want water or onion or anything to come close to that oil. So I'm going to bleach the oil and let it rest. Yes, you want it to cool down a bit. So I'm using that tissue to check the color. And I can see that it still needs a bit of time to bleach more. Yeah, normally like when, when I was growing up and we do this back home, we cover it but i decided not to cover it so that i can see the color so you can see the color has changed i'm going to set it aside and let it cool so in this pan i didn't know my my camera wasn't videoing i have it in there and i have it and that's my locust beans iru 
so I already have the oil is cooled down I have it in the pan with some onion in it yeah so these are some of the ingredients you need you need to fry the onions you need your iru and you need curry fish So normally the iru gives it that taste of um, of father or ayamashi sauce is that iru that gives it the taste without that you don't get that taste so that's the main main ingredient so here is it i'm just going to add it to let it release the delicious flavor of the iru i don't know if anyone has tried it normally it's yoruba people i think ibos we use that one we call it that one dawa or ogiru bay i don't know if it's the same thing just let me know in the comment section if you think obey and the iru is the same thing so right now i'm going ahead to add my curry fish i'm not putting too much curry fish just about maybe two tablespoons of curry fish so i'm going to fry everything together just letting the iru release its flavor just letting it release the flavor frying into the onion together i really enjoyed cooking this sauce it was so 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 delicious i enjoyed it so much yeah, so here I'm just trying to mix everything up together. Yeah, let it fry for a bit. You're able to perceive a little bit of the frying smell of the iru. You don't want it to burn, so I just keep staring and staring because I don't want it to get burnt. That's what we need to be careful about. So remember, I already have my uh, my ball pepper already dried up without no water in it. So this is it. So I'm going to just scoop it into the pan. I think it's a bit too much, so I'm just going to take like two to three scoop. Because I don't want it to be too much. Because the palm oil wasn't that much. I forgot to buy palm oil, and that's the last one I had. So I was just being careful. But I wanted to cook. I wanted to eat this. I couldn't wait to go back to the shop to buy palm oil. So, what's your best sauce for me? I like usala. Um, no, I don't usala. Sorry, I love ofaku. I love to eat like native sauce, like apple, usala, all those things. Other than like the normal tomato sauce or other soup, I really, really enjoy typical Nigerian dishes. Not westernized dishes, no, typical Nigerian dishes. So here I'm just letting it fry, being careful not to let it burn. I'm so, so aware of it that I'm just going to be mixing and making sure everything is frying nicely. You can see it sizzling. Yeah, so what's your best sauce to eat with rice? And do you eat rice on Sundays? Do you like rice and beans? Do you like plain rice? Or what do you eat on Sundays for me? White rice with some yummy sauce. It goes a long way with me. Yeah, here you can see it's just sizzling and sizzling and sizzling and sizzling on a low heat so, so that it doesn't get burnt. And that's what I'm doing. So here I'm gonna add my stock cube, just one stock cube and salt. Because there's already salt in the beef. So I didn't want to put too much, I just added a little bit of salt to it. And I'm going to just keep mixing. You can see it's not burning. I'm just going to make sure I break that um, cube to make sure I don't bite onto it. Oh I miss going to church. I hope I can go to church on Sunday. Because of this lockdown, I think the last time I went to church was sometime in June or July. I can't remember. I've missed going to church. So I'm just going to make this sauce, keep it aside. Tomorrow being Sunday, I make my rice and just enjoy this beautiful delicacy. Nigeria, we're so blessed. We have different varieties of food and a lot of dishes and different methods of cooking. You can always adopt any other culture dish. So I think mainly this is like a Yoruba kind of sauce. 
and I'm Ibo. So today I'm representing the Yorubas with this sauce. So you can see the color. Normally the color should change to a darker brown. So you can see the color is starting to, is starting to change now, which is good. So that's to show that the sauce is almost getting ready. So here I have my shaki and the goat and the um, the cow leg. I'm just going to pour. It's already cooked and it's soft, so I'm going to pour it inside to make sure that it absorbs the juice from that of father sauce. You want to bite your meat and bite the oh, you just oh this. You just want to make sure that all those juice gets into the meat so that it's not bland. Yes, I'm still fine. You can see my egg is boiling on the side because this sauce is not complete without boiled egg. I don't know why they add boiled egg. That's how I see them do it. And I'm definitely going to be adding my own boiled egg. So my egg is boiling on the side, which is good. So I'm going to be waiting for the egg while I cook my stuff. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do me the favor to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification button and the bell so that you get notified whenever I post a yummy video like this. Yes, I know I haven't been posted. I haven't really posted a lot of cooking video, but they are in the pipeline. You know, I'm still learning all these things. So please subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I really, really appreciate and I love to read your comments. It makes me really happy that at least there are people that love what I'm doing and are supporting me. So please, please, I beg of you, just subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like, turn on the notification button, and you will get notified whenever I post a video. You know, as always, I love to do um, words of affirmations in almost all my videos. So in this video, my word of affirmation is you are beautiful, you are strong, you are intelligent, you are loved, you are wanted, your opinion matters. So if you say this every day to yourself, trust me, you wake up in the morning, I try to do it. I wake up in the morning, I go to the mirror, I look at myself and I say to myself, you're beautiful, you're intelligent, God loves you, you're the apple of God's eyes, you're favored. You're a blessing to this generation. These are words we need to affirm. We don't need to get hear it from other people. These are things we need to learn how to tell ourselves. So this is my egg. I'm going to put in the egg and mix it and make sure that the juice of the um, um, ayamashi goes into the egg as well. So, but, so I'm going to let that egg rest in it till the next morning. That's when it will absorb all these flavors. Yeah, so please, thank you so much for watching to this point. I really, really appreciate. I'm so happy you took your time to watch my video. I'm grateful. I'm not taking it for granted. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. Yeah, so this is my sauce done now. Everything is done. I'm just going to wait for the rice to get ready by tomorrow. Cook the rice. And I'll see you next in my next I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so so very much. Try to make this sauce. Leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be so happy to read it. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.